All right, we're about to begin the uh, sheep eye dissection. And so by now you should have already made a sheet with some uh, boxes and labels so that when you identify and pick out these structures or parts of the eyeball, you can place them in the correct box. And so I'm just gonna slowly roll that up. Got two boxes at the top, cornea and then the iris pupil. In the middle, two more boxes, one for the lens, one for the retina. And then at the bottom, these will say optional eyelash and optic nerve or back of the eyeball. So occasionally you will have, will have a sheep eye with an eyelash. You can uh, cut that off and put that in that box. Most do not have an eyelash. And then once in a while, the optic nerve uh, will appear as a little nub and uh, you can cut it off and place it in the box, but sometimes they cut it so close to the back of the eyeball that um, you're not able to cut it off, so you could just place the entire back of the eyeball in that box. So we have that. You should have your equipment, a dissecting tray. If you're gonna handle uh, the sheep eye and do some dissecting, you should have two gloves and a pair of scissors and so you will come up to the front and you will get your uh, sheep eye out of the bucket let me pick one out here all right and as you can see the cornea here it's kind of like a glazed over blue milky color and there is some extra fatty tissue surrounding it just kind of looking at the back here I believe I believe and I don't know if it shows up real well on camera Oops. that the optic nerve was right there let me grab the scissors it looks like that's where it got snipped so I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think that's it Okay, so one of the first things you want to do is just simply trim away some of this excess tissue. Some uh, sheep eyes will have more than others. So we just want to cut that and put that off to the side in the tray. Get rid of that. All right, so that looks like it's pretty good. Get that into the corner. All right, so now it's kind of like cutting around a line in a sense. You see the line, so we have the cornea on top, and then you can see where the blue meets the white. And what I typically try to do is you're going to have to poke down into the eye with one part of the scissors, and that's like a line you would cut, um, cut along, except that what I typically do is find that line and go just a little bit out into the white. And when you poke into the eye, I usually try to have my fingers on the outside. A lot of students, they'll try to do it like this. That's dangerous because this is slippery. And I try to poke down. So hopefully if it slips, it'll slip off to the side into the uh, tray and I won't hurt myself. But it can be, you got to give it some pressure. And so I'm just going to hold it in there and poke down. Okay. And I went, uh, I went a little further out into the white than I... Initially wanted, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. And all I'm going to do is just cut little snips. And I'm basically cutting the blue part out, the cornea. And we'll see in just a moment that the iris is attached to the back. So I cut all the way around. That last little snip there. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to remove this part that I just cut. And I'm going to lift that out and you'll see all this clear white jelly like material, which is the, it's called the vitreous humor, it fills up the eyeball. And I'm going to just get that vitreous humor, that clear jelly stuff out and scrape it away. So now when I, I'm going to take the main part of the eyeball and set it off to the side for now. And like I said, this is the cornea, the outer protective part of the eye. And when I flip it over, I can see that right behind it, just like in the diagrams that we studied, there's the lens. And so I just wanna take my finger, scoop that out, kind of get some more of that vitreous humor, that jelly off of there, and there I have it. 
Okay, it's very smooth and very tough. And then I want to place that on the sheet in the box that says lens. So now when I take a look at this and I get some more of that clear jelly out, I can see that there is indeed a hole in the middle. If I pass my finger underneath, I can see right through the cornea and that's a hole. So that would be the pupil and then this colored part around the outside is the iris. So what I want to do is get the iris. It's stuck to the inside of the cornea and I want to get that off. So I'm going to just take a finger and kind of press this inside out. And then where that hole is, the pupil, I'm going to just slide one part of the scissors underneath the iris, in between the iris and the cornea. I'm going to cut it. So you can see where I made that cut. And I just want to peel the iris off of the back of the cornea. Okay. So again, now you can see that this sheep actually had brown eyes. And you can see the hole in the middle of the pupil. So I'm going to place that in the box. For iris pupil. Now I have the cornea. This protects the eye. You can tell it's pretty tough. I'm going to put that in the box that says cornea. Okay, now I'm going to uh, go in and get the rest of the, the fluid out in the vitreous humor. And you can see the back lining of the inside of the eye. It's like a really, like an indigo, dark purple. There's a little bit of like aqua blue. Uh, in there and that lining is the retina all right and so it's just a thin little film that's where the rods and cones would be in our eyes and you'll find I, what I do is I close the scissors and I use it as kind of like a pinpoint and I just scrape that film off okay that retina and most of it will come loose pretty easy but there will be one point in there where it's all connected and that one point leads out the back of the eye, and that would be where the optic nerve starts. And so now I'm gonna reach in, and I gotta give it a little pull because it's stuck where the optic nerve is, and I'm just gonna pull it out, okay? So it kind of crinkles up, but that would be the retina. And I'm going to just lay that on the sheet in the box that says retina. And so what I'm kind of left with now is just like the main part of the eyeball. And you can see kind of in the back there, there's a little piece of tissue still connected. Again, that's where the um, optic nerve would lead out the back of the eye. And, and yep. So again, the optic nerve is right there. Now you can try to cut that some more tissue off around it and try to get a better look at that. Sometimes you're able to do that, sometimes you're not. Okay, now if you get a little nub there and you can cut it off, cut it off. So sometimes it's not much at all, but that would be the optic nerve or at least. Uh, so that's gonna lead out the back of the eye and that's gonna go to the back part of the brain which interprets what you see. So I'm going to put that in the box. I didn't have an eyelash. Now some students here at the end, they like to see if they can cut this apart. You can try that if you wish, just to see what you know is in there. Uh, some students will try to cut uh, the cornea apart, which is fine with me. Um, just be careful. So this stuff is still slick. All right. So that's a sheep eye dissection. It's time to Rinse off the scissors, rinse out the tray, all the tissue goes in the trash before you rinse anything out. And let me see if I can lift the sheet over here. Okay, so you can see I have a cornea and an iris pupil. I have a lens and a retina. And I was able to get a little piece of the optic nerve. All right. Hope you had a good time. Hope you learned something. Hope you were able to identify those main structures of the eye.